Okay, stand by. Ready and fire. Okay. Actors a, Jeff Goldblum and Gina Davis didn't know what to expect when they learned that they would be working with the internationally acclaimed horror filmmaker David Cronenberg. I got the idea that uh, that he was uh, had a kind of a a, a, a personal uh, interest in and vision for these uh, weird and uh, bizarre and uh, horrible uh, stories. People ask what he's like because he's made these kind of gory films, <laughs> and they think, "Wow, is he just..." crazy or, or a weird guy or what, but he's, he, he's very, he's the opposite of what you might think. He'd be like very calm and laid back and uh, like a nice, regular guy. This nice, regular guy likes to scare audiences to death. As director and writer of such films as Scanners and The Dead Zone, he has tried to terrify moviegoers by exploiting their deepest fears. In Videodrome, his stylized horror produced some surrealistic effects. films that are primarily action like scanners and I've done films that are primarily character like the dead zone and I've done films that are very uh, very much you go very quite deeply into special effects that have never been done before like videodrome and I think in the fly all of these things are combined Now, for the first time in his career, Cronenberg has directed a picture that is not based on one of his original ideas, a remake of the horror classic, The Fly. Ironically enough, I think that the things that people will say are very Cronenberg when they see the film are in fact the things that were, were in the script that I was given. That was one of the th great shocks, pleasant shocks that I had when I read this script. There were details of this transformation of the main character, which felt like things that I could have written myself. Oh, no. What's happening to me? Am I dying? Action! Cronenberg has been working in the horror genre for over a decade. Through the years, he has gained the confidence and security as a director to give his actors a great deal of creative freedom. I admire him. He's very strong. He's uh, because he kn knows what he wants, and there were there were times when he'd say, "No, this is this is what I want," and there were times when he was very open and saying uh, that. So it was a real kind of collaboration that was very uh, satisfying. For Gina Davis, Cronenberg created a complex character not anything like the hysterical horror heroines of the past. There must be something we can do, you know, somebody we can go to, a test that can be done. No! Um, I won't be just another tumorous bore. Well, then what do you want me to do? Why did you call me? David Cronenberg teased me about that, too. He would call me the girl. He'd say, get the girl. Let's do the girl shot now, because because in a lot of those films, it is the girl. You need, like, the girl who comes in and goes, ah! and screams and uh, you need a, just a good screamer and somebody can kind of look good and one of the things that i like about making movies is the surprises that that uh, come up i think that at first someone walking into the film and not knowing what it was about would really be quite surprised to see what direction it starts to develop in <laughs> I think probably lunch.